man, this this entrepreneurship stuff. It's, it's hard, man. It's hard. It has been a pretty rough day today, to be honest. Like trying to get my mind around things. It's been a really slow start to the year. It challenges the resolve, and I think that's the truth. Like we've spent a bit of time today revisiting our budget, and the reality of things, and you know, just holding on, praying, and believing that this is the thing that we're meant to do at the moment. Yeah, no one said it was going to be easy, and this is, I feel like, one of the one of the tough points where I've got to kind of consider, you know, look at it as, is this a dip? Is this a dip or a cul-de-sac? And kind of go from there. Keeping my head high. And it's rainy too, which kind of doesn't help the whole moody vibe and depressing vibe. Got some other news today too, with a close family friend passing away, so it's been a bit rough, but... Go keep our heads held high and enjoy life. Morning everyone, it's nice and sunny out, which is amazing considering it's been just raining, raining for the last couple of weeks, about two weeks now. It's Friday morning. It's actually nice that it's been raining for about two weeks because of all the fires that we've had in the country over the last month or so. Just knowing that everyone's getting some relief from it and um, the land's getting refreshed and my grass is green, the weeds are growing really tall but it's good it's a good thing that there's a lot of rain although yeah it's nice to see a little bit of sunshine from time to time and especially considering that i'm a videographer it's hard to film outside when it's raining so it'll be good to see the sun come out and clear up a little bit but yeah it's friday morning about six close to 6 30 now and uh it's an early start every friday morning i go to bni and so yeah i'm gonna head there now and the day is full of meetings. I've got three different meetings after B&I, so it's a big networking and catching up day. And so I'm trying to get better at batching my meetings onto one day, and I feel like Friday might be the best day for it. So let's test it out today and see how we go. And I'll take you guys along. I've got a lot to share with you all. It's been an interesting start to the year for sure. And I've got a lot that I'd like to update you on. And so come along and I hope that you enjoy this video and um, what I got to talk about. So let's go. We're here at West End, so yeah, I'm gonna go hop over to BNI, and then after that, it's another meeting, and then I'm gonna head over to another meeting about 30 minutes away. So should be a fun morning. I gotta get my 60 seconds speech practiced, and then I'll head in, and um, yeah, hopefully I don't fumble it, and hopefully it's gonna be a good morning. Today I'm gonna be talking about weddings in my 60 seconds, which every week you have to do a 60 second spiel or a pitch to kind of explain and kind of educate everyone what you do. And every week the goal is to do it differently so that it sticks in people's minds and keeps them interested like a storyteller. And so that's what I'm doing today. In particular, I'm gonna be talking about how I'm rebuilding the wedding side of my business, which is something else I wanna cover in this video. So at the end, I'll, I'll ask about, I'll tell them who exactly I'm looking to work with, so. I'm gonna go do that practice and then head in, do the meeting, which is about an hour and a half, and then we'll go from there. Huh, well, I just had a great one-to-one -one just then with the web designer in our chapter, great meeting as well. Hopefully I'll be able to take you guys in really soon to actually see a little bit of what a meeting is like in a BNI setting. Um, but for now, I don't wanna weird people out. I've actually got a bit of a plan I've actually got a plan of how I'm going to do it. And so it's going to start with a video that I'm going to record of myself doing a talk at BNI on the 6th of March. And hopefully after that, people will be accustomed to seeing me with gear in a BNI setting. So 
I'm gonna try and really push the power of video this year. But yeah, great catch up, great one-to-one -one with a web designer, good guy. And um, yeah, I'm gonna get ready now for a meeting I have. I'm excited, the sun's out. As you can see, it's nice and bright again. And so my demeanor is going up with the sunlight because man, rainy days are a little bit on the depressing side for me. It's gonna be a good day, I feel it, I can feel it. I'm really believing it's gonna be a good day. All right, talk to you guys soon. So I just had another really good meeting, um, but I'm about to have my third meeting of the day. And I just thought I would talk a little bit about, you know, I alluded to some things this morning and even to that clip yesterday about how things haven't been the easiest at the start of the year. And see, the thing is that I know that, I know that there's gonna be ups and downs. I know that there's definitely gonna be ups and downs in business. And you know, there's, there's just seasons where it's not as busy, not as busy as it normally is, but I definitely found that um, I've gone through my first real winter, and funny enough, it's, it was in the middle of summer, but my first real winter in terms of the busyness of work, you know, um, December and January were really dead, especially January, and it's made me kind of realize how important it is to have cash flow and have, you know, a lot of things happening throughout the year and plan for the dry seasons, but it's also made me reconsider my strategy in how to avoid more dry seasons going further. When I started my filmmaking journey, I started it in the wedding industry. I thought I was going to be a wedding videographer um, as a full-time thing and I, I, even now I don't believe that that's the case. But in terms of like cash flow, especially when starting out, um, I think I really need to just humble myself and really just kind of go if there's an opportunity for me to be making some money doing something that I still enjoy doing within videography and building a name as a wedding videographer in Brisbane then why not keep doing it because you know better to humble myself and and actually get work coming in as opposed to pretending like a lot's happening when nothing is and trying to position myself as an expert while I'm not really getting much work and I know that this isn't permanent I know that Things should pick up, um, especially as the year goes on. But deep down inside, I want to be doing the best I can at everything I do. And I feel like I miss, I miss, I miss weddings when I don't do them. And I have one coming up next week, and I hope to really use it to start kickstarting the wedding side of the business. And I've done some things like started a promotion and um, featured that on Facebook, and started to put together a demo reel for what I can do as a videographer in the wedding industry. But you know, even looking at some of the videographers who I have really aspired to be like, um, there's some in particular that are coming to mind now. They all started doing weddings and they haven't canned the wedding side of their business. And so I thought to myself, you know, I, I should do the same thing. I, I shouldn't pretend that I'm too good for weddings and that's not true at all. I just wanted to try to focus on building the business videography side of what I'm doing, which is, is definitely happening. But if there is going to be consistency, especially with wedding season approaching, which in Australia is anywhere from April till October when peak wedding season is, and that provides cash flow to build on and to get staff and to get better gear and all those kinds of things, then why wouldn't I do it, you know? Yeah, I'm going to go hit up this meeting now and then I'll keep talking after. Just finished up at the with my last meeting for the day. I'm gonna get ready to go to church. Um, been such a productive day. A lot of great chats, and um, yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna keep batching my meetings like I did today. Definitely keen to keep doing more of them. So, yeah, great day so far. So it's been a couple of days since I recorded the last part of this video. It's the week after and I've had time over the weekend to process a bit more about what I was talking about. I got to reset a little bit and, and I reread this book, The Dip, that I talk a lot about to people. It's a really short book, only about 70, 70, 80 pages long, so it doesn't take that long to read. And it really reminded me about what it takes to get through those dips in life when it's not that exciting, and especially in 
business and in projects that are, you know, that start off really fun and exciting. There's always going to be times where there is a dip and it's a matter of pushing through and getting to the other side or identifying before you even enter it whether it is going to be a good idea because the book basically says in most circumstances these points of challenge indicate either a, a cul-de-sac where it's a dead-end job or a dead-end thing that doesn't lead to anything or a cliff something that's so exciting but you know has no upside at the end of it like you know a bad habit like smoking or you know doing drugs all that kind of stuff or a dip or it could just be this point in your journey where it takes making it to the other side to see the positive results that very few people are willing to put the work and the effort in to do. And basically it just reminded me that you want to be, and I want to be part of the 1% that doesn't give up, that doesn't quit, that wants to be the best in the world at what I do. I do believe I've got it in me. It is a matter of fighting through this, this challenging period and getting excited about what will happen when we make it out to the other side. There's something that this book really reminded me of and it's that we should know internally whether we're prepared to cross through the dip before we even start a project because there's no point in quitting in the middle because we've invested so much time, so much effort that it's better to quit earlier before we get to the point where we're invested and we and it makes it hard to turn around. So but right now I'm definitely, I feel like I'm in a little bit of a dip season and I'm excited to push through and just wanted to record this video to document this part because it's not all sunshine and rainbows, you know, unicorns and roses. There's a lot of stuff that happens in the journey that isn't as exciting, but it's part of it. And so I want to make sure that I document this for posterity. And for if you're interested and maybe you relate and you're going through a similar season, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Maybe tell me how you got through it if you're already on the other side or what you're thinking about if you're about to enter a new season and you know that things like this might come up. So I'd love to have a conversation with you in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video and got any value out of it, I would love for you to like it and subscribe to the channel as I'll continually upload videos that talk about my journey in business, ministry, and life and navigating all of these as a young adult. So I thank you for watching and I hope that you have the best day ever. And I'll see you guys and girls on the next video. Bye.